Hi. <laughs> Hello. Close talker. You made it that way. Hmm. What are we supposed to be saying? It's a volcano. It's ancient volcano. That's for Wikipedia time. Oh, sorry. I forgot about Wikipedia time. You have to have segments mm. in videos. And this mm. is the segment where we tell people where we are. This, the history segment where we read straight out of Wikipedia is later. Mm. Oh, okay. We're up. recording. I know. I was going to do the joke again. Oh, I don't want to do it again. Okay. You know what? Andy J. Pizza said to repeat your jokes. Not today. Not today. Hold on. We're at Morrow Mountain. We're at Morrow Mountain we, State Park. We went to Morrow. You can drive straight to the top and there's a bunch of picnic tables and um, like overlooky areas, actual overlooks where you can overlook things that are below you. Like behind, Far, much further below you. We're, we're overlooking behind us. It's really pretty. There's the Yadkin River, which becomes the Petey River right around this area somewhere. And there's little tops oh, yeah. of hills and mountains. They're like little foothills of the ancient mountains. Which we'll explain later in the Wikipedia historical section segment. Okay, sounds fun. Wikipedia time. Morrow Mountain State Park is a state park in Stanley, North Carolina, U.S., located near Albemarle. This park contain, includes 5,881 acres within the Uruwe Mountains. Uruwe. Who, Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? It's one of the highest peaks within the Uruwe Mountains of Central North Carolina. When first formed, these mountains rose to nearly 20,000 feet above sea level, but erosion has gradually worn them down to little more than high hills that average less than 1,000 feet in elevation. These pinnacles are the remains of the oldest mountain ranges in the uni eastern United States. The park contains several peaks, of which Morrow Mountain is a high point at 936 feet. <laughs> it feels taller when you're driving up here. Okay. The discovery of artifacts in the area attests to the presence of Native Americans at least 12,000 years before European settlement. Stone tools and weapon points by the thousands have been excavated and represent one of the most extensive bodies of Native American stonework in existence. Yeah, so we're at down at the river part of Morrow Mountain State Park. This is the Yadkin slash PD. I think this is about where it changes its name. Where? I had to go down to the courthouse Can and get it legal. Can we find out legal. precisely where in the river I mean, it changes its name? Probably, but I'm not looking it up. Hmm. helps if you record 
But now all I hear is boat. 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 Motorcycle. Boat. Um, it's very loud here. Surprisingly very lovely. loud. There's a lot of motorcyclists. People are just loud. Um, there's boats. Um, it's just, it's a loud place. So if you're sensitive to noise, come when it's not a peak season. Come maybe in the middle of the week. Um, or bring your earplugs. Also, we found a beach right here. Beach. See those waves. We're at the beach. No. We're at a t tiny strip of sand that happens to be next to a river. Sure, it's a beach. All right. The last path was steep, and I almost hurt myself coming down. So let's try this one. Not too bad. Easy feet. On some picnic tables. This one's really cool. Go see it really quick. But it is kind of an isolated picnic table. Look at that view. I think we should totally have lunch here later or dinner. Oh, I got too much. A little goes a long way. Yeah. Oh. It's very, uh... I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, you got all of it. <laughs> Cheers. Did it. Yep. We're at the Pisca Covered Bridge and it's pretty cool. It's easy right off a road. You don't have a big hike to it or anything. Though there seems to be a trail that you can walk if you want. You probably want to come earlier in the day because the sun is dipping below the trees and don't have as quite as much light as I want for my still photographs. Um, and I think in the morning, you'd have to wait a little bit after sunrise as well. So. It's a hard one for that golden hour type picture, but I suppose if you came out here enough times, you'd figure it out. But anyway, it's a pretty cool bridge. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little stop. So I walked all the way across, all the way up to here. But now I have this large boulder in front of me. I did it. I jump from that rock to that rock all the way up to here. I walked all the way across that and got stuck right there. Then I had to jump from rock to rock. I did it. I still have some skills. I'm gonna walk through. It's not gonna collapse under me. I think walking on the rocks below was less scary. Is it a haunted covered bridge? Unfortunately not. I'm walking across another bridge. It's like the Golden Gate Bridge. I walked across it and I had to cross it over again. Someone just karate chopped it. Yeah. Or it's just really old. Did I just hear you say, hey look, that's water under the bridge. 
because look, it is water under the bridge. Best part about here is it's quiet. It is really quiet. You can have, you have like, you can hear yourself think. There's no boats running by. Motorcycles. I'm not anti-boat or anti-motorcycle. I'm pro being able to hear nature.